Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and I figured I'd do something a little different, considering that there's not going to be that much Vita content anymore, so... This is the Spider-Man game on PS4. I decided that I'm going to be taking games that I've basically been playing in my off time and just do videos on them whenever I get the chance, because yeah, there won't be that much in the way of regular Vita content anymore, I do apologise for that, but... That's just kind of the way things go. So, this just came out yesterday, but by the time you see this, it'll probably have been a few days by this point. I don't know how much time I've put into it, but I have completed over 40% of the game at this point. However, I haven't actually gone that far in the main story, but we'll try and save a story mission for the end of the video, so that we don't get too much into spoilers for people who actually want to play through this. So... We can start it up. We do have a lot of SIGs we can go through, but I think we can go through most of these in the actual game, and I'd rather not spend too much time because there's a ton of them. So we're going to load a manually made save game that I made here. And it's going to put us right in. Thankfully, other than the initial loading time, which isn't that long, and going in and out of buildings, there aren't any loading times at all, so, you know, free to swing around the city. I know that doesn't sound that impressive considering that the Spider-Man 2 game on PlayStation 2 was able to do the whole open world thing, but when you see just how good this game looks, you'll be kind of surprised. Gotta get to Officer Davis's medal ceremony. So yeah, here we are. This is Spider-Man on PS4. Now, to be fair, this is PS4 Pro. And this is running in the super sampling mode, so it is going to have a higher resolution internally, so it might look a little bit better. But I am only recording it in 1080p. A Trailing a crane in the air above our teeming streets, on which it could have crashed at any moment in a blazing rotor chopping fireball of doom. Still think the webhead's protecting people like you, caller? Well, he stopped him, and he made sure the helicopter didn't land on him. So, it seems to me he did the right thing. Right thing? The right thing would be to call the professionals. My son serves proudly in the Air Force. He's logged thousands of hours of flight time and years of training in protecting our homeland. But he's not good enough? Well, of course he is, but he wasn't there. Spider-Man was. Because that's how he wanted it! God forbid he share the spotlight with anyone! That's it. I'm done pointing out the obvious. Let's go to commercials. I need a double aspirin with an antacid chaser. No! I could not, in good conscience, interrupt Alex Jones, J. Jonah Jameson. He is brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. So, as I said, this is Spider-Man. And it is... I just... I, I know I'm putting off actually getting into the web swinging. But there's something that I want to do. I want you to listen very carefully. I'm going to turn up the audio for this one. But I want you to listen very carefully as to how the music starts up when we actually get into the swinging. Ten thirty-four. Demons have opened fire. Multiple officers down. Any officers near Midtown North? Please copy. God, it's brilliant. So, along with web swinging, there will also be plenty of combat. Basically, the combat is the Batman Arkham games, but actually properly tuned. So, the way this works is you have a dodge button, you have an attack button, and you have a web button. These can all do different things at different times. So, for example, just pressing the triangle button regularly will do a web zip. So it allows me to basically just jump right into the fray. The circle button will be your counter, and trust me, I am playing on the highest difficulty the game offers. So, not countering in this game can and will get you killed. But there are, of course, plenty of combos you can pull off, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show off too much of because we're almost done here. But, oh, there's still like two people, but basically there are a lot of different moves you can use. Holding square is your basic launcher attack. 
And then you can combo that into other moves. You do also have the ability to pick up and throw people like that, but that's also that's an upgrade. There are a lot of upgrades in this game. There are also other neat moves, like pulling out shit from under a guy's foot and then just buffeting him with it. Then you've also got a bunch of unique gadgets. That was the impact web. There are a bunch of different ca gadgets going on. There are a bunch of different gadgets going on and they all have their own unique uses, but it is more or less just take down all the bad guys. You'll run across crimes like that happening all over the city. And... Thank you very much, Dark Rodius. Thank you very much indeed. There are all sorts, sorts of toys and tools that you can help you out with combat, but there are also tons of extra little side missions. There's one just down there that we're going to go and do, for example. Felicia thinks she's toying with me, but I learned something in each of these scenes. There are a ton of different side missions. There is an absolutely massive amount of them. There are... Science stations, which give you lots of weird little scientific missions to do. It's a little strange. There's plenty of uh, places where you can get into wave combat with enemies. There's collectible items to find, which we'll get into soon enough. Whoop, hang on, my controller's vibrating. It means what we're looking for is down here. There it is. Aha. And we found so the cat. The lawyer lives here. I bet she's after his client list to find new targets. Hate to admit it, but she's one smart cat. There's a science station over there, but we won't go do that. It's a, it's a neat idea for a set of side missions, but I don't think it'd be very interesting to show on camera. As a matter of fact, let's go have a look at the map real quick. So, we can see that we've got a bunch of stuff to do, but I've already cleared out a lot of it, because the game is kind of strange like that. It really makes you want to actually go and do all this crap, which is funny, because it doesn't actually give you that much, at least not right away. You do need to unlock some stuff by leveling up. So we're actually going to go and do some more in-depth combat so I can show off some more toys. This is a, uh, what would you call it? It's a wave combat mission. I have already done it, but I can at least show off some of the more interesting nuances of combat before we go too deep into any other of the content so yeah let's go do that so there is more to the web swinging than just swinging around you can press the r2 button to swing and it does hook onto buildings and other sorts of objects and if you aren't in the middle of an area it can if you aren't in the middle of an area with tall objects it means that you will probably have trouble hooking on but this can hook onto a lot like honestly uh, also, apparently, they want me to chase a pigeon. I think this is one of the pigeon side quests. Yeah, let's do it. Just while we're here, I can show off some more of the side quest stuff. So there is more to it than that. If you hold the L2 button and press the R2 button, you'll do a web zip, and you can use that to get around areas pretty quick. You can also press the X button in the air to do a, do a different kind of web zip that will help you move faster and maintain some momentum, but you can't do more than one at once. Gotcha. Okay. There are also web tricks you can do in the air, but apparently there's supposed to be like hey, prompts for them. I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty gray flex. Might have just left the stain on my suit. <laughs> Guy's a little devil. <laughs> but he's a charmer. Uh, give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. So yeah, there's plenty of other things you can do. You've got plenty of boosting if you've got the right timing. So just as an example, if I web zip, say, up to this ledge here. Hang on, I need to do it to a closer ledge. There we go. If I zip up to that, press the X button, I'll get a boost out of it. And you can do that with pretty much every service in the game. You can also, of course, run on walls, run up walls, and do all sorts of things like that. Have you ever been driving along, going to work, or church, minding your own business, when suddenly, bam, you hit a pothole, damaging your car, and ruining your whole day? Okay, apparently combat interrupts JJ. That's unfortunate. 
But you get a ton of different moves in this game, and a lot of them are unlocks via the... Oh, God, I fucked that up. A lot of them are unlocks. Let's keep those guys out of the way for the time being. One more just to be safe. Thankfully, I have the ability unlocked that will save me from lethal hits. Or at least from one lethal hit. Damn it, I knew he was going to attack me, and there, there's the other one. Okay, so there is a focus system in this game, and it's built via combos. You get... Oh, shit. Rest in peace, me. Okay. That's unfortunate. Kind of got overwhelmed there, but I probably could have used some more of my fancy gadgets in order to actually get out of that situation. Alright, let's actually go and try the proper thing. I'll get back to my combat explanation when I stop getting interrupted by, you know, dying. So this is a... Usually when you come across these, there'll be a bunch of dudes here, but you can walk into this here to repeat the mission. I've already done all the special requirements for it. So here we go. We actually start this off relatively stealthy. If we press the R3 button, we can get a ski in the area and see all our dudes. Now... This will eventually devolve into an all-out brawl, but until the point, until that point, we're in stealth. And we can take down dudes from a perch. We can also sw uh, swing in and take them out. We do also have the ability to distract people if we feel the need. Thankfully, our scanner actually shows us whether or not someone will actually see us picking up this guy. So we can focus our attention more on the singular dudes. Nope, he's not safe to pick up yet. Now, we can use our gadgets to make things a little more interesting. Throw out a web bomb. He gets stuck to the wall. We can use our web shooters to tie this guy... Or well, try and tie this guy up. Uh, how about we stun him instead? There we go. So, yep, they have an idea that I'm here, but if I... Yank this guy up. There we go. Now, can I get this guy up without saying off any dudes? I can. Very good. So not only are your gadgets useful... Yep, here they come. They know I'm here. So yeah... Your gadgets have an absolute ton of different uses in this game. It's fantastic. Like, the web shoot is here. Use them enough, stick a guy to a wall. The impact web is basically the instant version of that. You have the electric web, which stuns dudes. Buying you enough time to get in the air. Of course, you have the ability to throw objects, but web up a dude enough. Hang on, I gotta use the web shoes for this, I think. Web up a dude enough and you can throw him. And you have takedowns. Now, takedowns work off the focus system. You get more focus. Oh shit. I'll take that back. You get more focus by. Oh shit. Right. Avoid bullets. Bullets are very bad for me. You get more focus by basically doing well. And you do well by getting as many dudes as you can in a combo. Or getting as many hits as you can in a combo. Well, dudes counts as well, because, you know, the more dudes means more hits, but sure. Better avoid that. Goodbye. Hang on. I'll stick. I'll st oh, no, he's already dead. Never mind. So, when you have a full focus bar, you can do a takedown. But this is also your health system. So the more focus you have, when you press down on the D-pad, it will heal up some of your health. So, the better you do, the more takedowns you get, the more health you get. You do also eventually unlock an ability... Oh, God. You do also eventually unlock an ability to automatically put your focus into your health, which is a nice touch. We'll get into that after we get through uh, this little... Bit of combat here. But basically, 
I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, which is uh, Spectacular. By the way, the difficulty names are actually amazing because the, they're all um, names names of Spider-Man comics. But yes, so I am playing on the hardest difficulty and you cannot mash. Don't even try to mash in this game. You will just, you'll lose it. You'll be done. You're stuck in the wall. No shoving. I'll give you all personal attention. There are also different kinds of enemies. We saw a big thug guy. He was the one that actually killed me. But of course, we've also got dudes with... We've also got dudes with melee weapons. But thankfully, I do have the ability to actually disarm him. But I actually would just want to use the web bomb. Because the web bomb is awesome. Smack. Yep. Web swing from the air. Dodge the bullets. If you do an over-under dodge, which you do by doing one punch and then sliding under, you will actually get the enemies to shoot each other. It's fantastic. Okay. I came here to web bad guys and actually, hang on. Just while my mind's on it, let's see if I have any moves that I've missed out of. You know, I've got Yank. I've done the spin cycle. I've done all the perfect dodges because perfect dodges get you more stuff. Yeah, there's, just, there's, there's a ton of different moves and I, I think I've gone through all the ones I have at the moment, which is nice. Oh dear. Right, focus up a bit. Oh god. Can't see. Not good. Uh, let's impact web some, some dudes, because impact webbing is very useful. One of the best ways to kill a dude in this... Well, kill, I say, as in incapacitate. One of the best ways to incapacitate a dude in this game is to make sure he's stuck to a wall somehow. It's always the best way to go about it. You also have special abilities, so every suit that you unlock has a special ability, but you can swap between any individual suit ability at any time, which is great. And the ability that I've got equipped right now is the first one you get. It also appears to be one of the most useful, which is just a constant regenerating focus for a small amount of time. So I've got all my health back, I've got, got a couple of takedowns in, it's all good. Let me get out of the way of that. Yes, you even have a drone that shoots people. It's kind of silly. You can also pull down scaffolding, but that doesn't actually do much for me here. Oh, so there you go. I'll just take this and hit you over the head with it, and we're done. So yeah, there's a ton of toys you can play with. You have a ton of moves, and the... Combat itself is just really versatile. I think it's like, it is a lot like Arkham. It does feel like a bit of a clone of Arkham, but at the same time, it gets a fair amount right. That game gets, well, not particularly wrong, but then again, I haven't played that much of the Arkham games. But the actual combat in this game has a ton of variety and there's always different ways you can go about things. You can focus more on melee, you can do ranged attacks with your webbing, you can focus on nothing but counters and then just do nothing but takedowns. There is a ton of different ways to go about it. This is helped out by your equipment. Yeah, I have to go into this eventually. Excuse me. So, you've got suits you can unlock. And this one here, for example, will give me the ability to uh, web throw enemies without having to web them up. That's actually a pretty neat ability. I can use my tokens. And tokens are unlocked via doing all the side stuff. So, the black cat thing I did was one example of a side mission. I got a research point for catching that pigeon earlier. And it also gave me that unique web power but I can swap back to my battle focus if I want. But let's keep King of the Ring on, because that might actually be pretty useful. I'll keep the suit on too, because it's pretty neat. There are tons of different suits in this game as well. Like, look at that. There's like 26. And there are all sorts of neat ones as well. Like, there's the two pre-order ones. That one kind of looks like out of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And you can pick whatever suit you like. And a lot of these are just amazing little callbacks. Like... The bloody Scarlet Spider suit, and the Insulated suit, and the Homemade suit. God, there are just tons of different kinds of suits. You also have different, like, little add-ons you can have. So, increased damage when my health is above 100. Uh, scan enemies remain highlighted. Increase the amount you heal from focus. Reduce incoming bullet damage. Reduce melee damage. Some of the more impressive ones are up here, though. Like, reveal nearby secret photo locations, and... Uh, electrical charge. Uh, it's just, yeah, there's some neat stuff here. You can have up to three equipped at once and they all require tokens. Same thing with gadgets. You can unlock new gadget upgrades as you play through the story and level up. 
And you need certain kinds of tokens to, in order to actually upgrade them so that they're slightly more useful than they are previously, and that's absolutely fine. There are tons of different kinds of gadgets you can get. Unfortunately, I can't craft this one yet. And this one I don't get because, yeah, more story missions, unfortunately. You get skill points every time you level up and you can use them to unlock new things like the ability to throw weapons back at the enemies that held them, which is great. Uh, Ground Strike has a larger recon thing. Yeah, Last Stand. Uh, if I'm about to take a lethal hit, it'll let me dodge it. Increase, increase focus gains at higher combo amounts. Hold triangle in the air to yank enemies upwards to do more air combos. Yeah, there are some pretty good abilities here. And it doesn't feel like any of these are particularly useless. And I've got a fair amount of them already, actually. Missions, just to go to your story stuff. And your collections, so you can see what you've been collecting in the way of, like, backpack items, for example. There are 55 of these. I've got all of them. And they all have, like, little voice clips. When the vulture cracked my eye lens, it almost blinded me. That was a wake-up call. Had to upgrade to a stronger material. Everything has a little line like that. Everything does a little bit to kind of explain what's going on in this Spider-Man world. Because Spider-Man's actually been Spider-Man for a long time in this world. And there is a ton of little extra just background content to the universe they're trying to make here. Which is great. Jameson gave me this at his Bugle retirement party. I thought nobody would listen to his talk show. Shows how much I know. There's just a ton of nice little things going on here. You can even listen to like little voice clips of J. Jonah Jameson once they've played over. And even just some other recordings. Benchmarks, which are basically just challenges that give you experience points. A character roster. And of course your moves list, which we've already seen. So we can go into the options real quick while we're here. You do have a photo mode, but... Photo mode, honestly I don't care. So you can change your difficulty, your look sensitivity, all that basic stuff. Even how much the camera shakes, which is nice. You've got all your different audio sliders, and you do have the ability to turn JJ off, if, or JJJ off, if if you don't want to listen to him, and also turn on subtitles. Plenty of visual options. I have motion blur turned all the way down, and film grain turned all the way down, and chromatic aberration, mainly because those are things that I do not like, and they'll probably make the video look worse at the end of the day, but, you know, it's there if you want to turn it off or on. And there's also air tricks, which I have actually bought, but they haven't actually shown up yet. There is also the, uh, the accessibility options, which I really like for more reasons than one. So you can turn on big subtitles in a subtitle background. You can make the HUD elements stay in place, but I'm not too worried about that much. You can turn on the ability to complete quick time events automatically, and you can also skip some of the puzzles. There are a fair few different kinds of puzzles in this game, and being able to skip them is ace, and it doesn't do anything to prevent you from getting like a, a platinum trophy. So. These options are actually all really nice, just in general. Like, I, I'm not a particularly big fan of, like, having to mash to do quick time offense. So being able to turn that on is actually really cool. So, yeah, there you go. There's no way to change your controls. And just if, for people wondering what the Vita Remote Play is like, it's just L2, L3, L3, um, L2, L3, R2, and R3 all on the rear touchpad. It's not particularly pleasant to play, if I'm being perfectly honest. You could do it if you wanted to, but it's not the best way to go about it. So, let's swing towards that story mission now. And we will, we can actually fast travel there. But we'll see if there's anything to do on the way that will keep us entertained for a little bit. You know? Because there is a fast travel system. And it is kind of great to watch Spider-Man actually get on the subway. And just ride it. With some dude falling asleep on his, um, falling asleep on his shoulder. But, oh man, I just, I gotta go on a little bit more about the swinging because it feels fantastic. Everything flows together so well. Being able to web zip in the air to change your direction really quickly and just being super fast and being able to just chain all these little movements together. I have received unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks where children play, apparently stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane. A perfectly valid question. But have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider? Ah, oh, JJ. Never get old. So, yeah. The, the swinging in this game is fantastic. It is so fast. It is so fluid. 
It isn't as challenging as the old Spider-Man 2 web swinging, but holy crap. The fact that I haven't felt the need to use the quick travel system like more than once in this game, because they make you do it as part of, the, of, as part of the story, is really nice. And they also have a bunch of different things going on. What's going on oh, here? Sorry about that. Uh, oh, they're on the roof. Okay. Hi! Yes, they have rocket launchers. Yes, you can knock dudes off the roof. Yes, it is as satisfying as it looks. Oh, God. Just dodge that. Whoops. 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 Oh, dear. Okay, hang on. I have gadgets that can get this out, um, that can turn the tide in my favor. There we go. Just take out the rocket launcher dudes before they feel the need to hit me again. Goodbye. But yeah, the swinging in this game feels fantastic. The combat in this game feels fantastic just because of how much you have at your disposal. Oh yeah, by the way, you get your gadgets back when you kill dudes. Oh. Is that it? Uh... Okay, there's, uh, perform 10 swing kicks. Whoa! Oh god! Okay. You know what? Screw you. You get a swing kick. Bye! Another one? No, nope, that's it. Okay, so there's my crime token. Very good. We'll try to blow them up with rockets. Well, actually, you'd probably get pretty excited. It's all helped by the fact that the game is very stable performance-wise. I've been playing for a few hours at this point and haven't noticed anything in the way of a frame rate drop or a... oh, there's a crime over there. Let's go do that. I've noticed nothing in the way of a frame rate drop or a just a okay. Boom. Time that badly. Didn't time that badly though. All right. Yeah, get you stuck to the wall because I hate dealing with dudes with guns, especially when they hit me with them. That just feels insulting. up here. Look, that's a thug. I don't want to... I do not want to fuck with him. Stun him for a bit. Cool. Okay. Thugs are a little different in that you kind of need to... You need to do something like that. You need to stun them with web shots or anything to actually get good hits in on them. And then try and web them down when they are whoops whoops when they are flat on the ground but yes the game's performance absolutely fantastic has uh worked fantastically for me ah oh, just missed out on the other That's bonus it. objective everyone okay demons fight like men possessed oh well I'll just um, i'll just get my health back there we are you can even talk to people on the. Oh, hi. Bad mojo, officer. Real bad. There we go. Another crime? Seriously? Oh well. Not a problem for me. Demons are out of control. Gentlemen, that is not how an ATM works. That's not even bomb. There we go. Get down. I need to make sure this guy dies. Uh, that's not gonna happen, unfortunately, because there are so many dudes here. Uh, but just web bomb both of them, okay. Oh cool, I unlocked my third focus bar. 
Screw you. Bye. Need to need to web this. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Bye. Okay. Uh, stun. Go. That's the end of that. I'll get you. Sure, I will. Bit of a weird thing to need to time, but okay. This makes a lot more sense. Those there's just there's tons die. of different kinds of side activities going on. Demons before more lives are lost. Bye, cops. But yeah, honestly, it plays like a dream in both combat. In both combat and just general swinging. Not to mention all the stuff there is to do on the side. It, it, it feels a bit weird. Like, I'm not usually the sort of person that, um... Oh, for God's sake. Where do all you guys come from? I'm not usually the sort of person who... Goes for all the collectibles in a game. But in this case, I was just having so much fun playing the game itself. That I just did ended up doing all this side stuff without even realizing I was doing it. And it was... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Screw you guys. Ow. Yeah, you can, you can get off the roof. You can... And so can you. This is why I keep my focus thing, because, um... This is why I keep the focus ability, because it lets me get a lot of health back really quickly. Honestly, it really does feel like being Spider-Man. Like, being able to use all his different little gadgets in combat. Being able to web-swing around the place so freely and so easily while still having a, at least a slight challenge to it. And the game's voice acting and story, at least so far, I haven't gone too far in, has also been fantastic in making you feel like Spidey as well. He's, Spidey's got a lot of quips. I think it's Yuri Lowenthal who did who does Spidey's voice, and he does a really good job with it. Uh, where the hell is the last guy? He's over there. Right. You know what? Screw you, dude. Screw you, dude. That's that. I take it. Definitely not loving the demons are targeting me now. Thing. Cool. If I can just get off the wall, please. Off the wall. Thank you. We're about to see some more of the cutscenes of voice acting in action, which is... And the story missions are just huge, massive set pieces, and they're, they're just a lot of fun to play through, even though some of them feel a fair bit scripted sometimes, but... God damn, is it a good time to play through this. Let's go give this a shot. Wee. Hey folks, just letting you know that the mission that I decided to play was actually really spoilery, so I've cut most of it out of the video just to be safe. However, I have left in a little bit of stealth gameplay, because this is something that comes up a few times in the game, and it will cut out before it gets back into the actual cutscenes again, so there's no spoilers. I have also gone to the effort of blacking out a couple of spoilers that happen after it just to be safe, so yeah, just FYI. Right there. What the hell? Where do you think you're going? That guy, Tio Julio. Circle around the edge to get past it. Through there.
这边没有问题。这边好像有声音，看看讲坛那里有没有活人。That was right there. Gotta help him. Well, that was certainly something, um... So that was a hell of a story mission that I'm probably not going to show most of due to the fact that it's a giant set of spoilers, but... Well, at least it gives me a little bit of an opportunity to show off the stealth sections, which are interesting. Also kind of annoying that it seems like every game of this kind has to have those sort of sections, but still interesting. But yeah, this game apparently does like to hit hard. Well, at least JJ was bloody, um, actually reasonable about that. So let's actually go and uh, do that research station. Then we'll go do another big fight and then we'll call the video off because at this point, I'm not really sure what else, much else I have to show you. I'll probably do a bit of creative cutting to get around the fact that there was a gigantic set of spoilers there that I'd rather not show on a video because seriously, this game is fantastic and I'd recommend it to anyone who owns a PS4 at this point. But, god damn, I was not expecting that. I have this annoying tendency to pick the worst times to do videos. Hey Pete, now this station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, but I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. The other bot signal in the park, so that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park, you know, like you do. No full damage as well, thank god. Now you get to play okay. with the spider bot. It's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. You might also notice that with the change in the story mission, also came a change in the weather, which is actually a really nice touch. There's no day-night cycle. It's all based on where you are in the story, which is a really neat idea, and it really does give the yeah, city a lot of flavor. Yeah, tested in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Oh, strange. I can't interact with that despite there being the symbol for it. Looks like it made it quite a ways. 
Also, no, in this game you can get hit by trains. That is a thing. I have found this out. It really gives you an appreciation of how much detail they put into everything. Like, look, you can even see inside some of the buildings there. It's a little bit repetitive in its way, but... Good lord, that's a lot of effort. Wrong direction. Through here, apparently. Uh... Proximity alarm? What? Oh, oh you got to be kidding me! And if I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot. I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Harry really did me a solid that time. That's cute. Some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out of the world again. That that that's cute. That's a cute little side mission. That is actually pretty neat. And yeah, you even have like little social media based on Spider-Man. It's oh great. I'm gonna have to count spoilers out of that too. Let's go do the fist kite out, and then we'll end this video off because goddamn, like. I hope I've convinced you that this game is worth your time. The combat is fantastic. The swinging is wonderful. The story is interesting because it does its own... It doesn't do its own unique thing per se as much as it takes what was there and turns it all into a new form, which is fun to discover and explore. There's a ton of activities to do, and most of them are a lot of... Actually, pretty much all of them, except like the repetitive car chases are a lot of fun. And it's just a really good time. It is just a really... Is this the same thing that I was already at? God damn it. I'm pretty sure I just did this one earlier on in the video. Yeah, this is the one that I've already done. Let's, um... Let's try something else. So let's, uh... Hang on, if I... I know I didn't do the one down here. So if I fast travel to the cell tower research station, you also get to see this. Oh, that's not one of the funny ones. That's a shame. All right. Let's do this. Because I'm pretty sure this one's on top of a building, which is a little bit more interesting than one being on the ground. Let's do it. Yeah, we get snipers in this one. Scan. Let's go take out the snipers. I literally didn't see that coming. Let's just make sure I don't get seen before I have the opportunity to take out all the snipers.
Oh god, they've got rocket launchers. Let's uh, let's go deal with that. And immediately get knocked off the building. <laughs> oh, I also turned the camera on by mistake. That's not that's not good. Oh god. He's webbing things? God, mate. Ow. You guys are late. Don't worry. I got plenty of face kicks left. Shock everyone. Awesome. Also, I'll throw out some spider drones just to have some gunfire going out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Man, it feels awesome to do that. Goodbye. Ow. Really? More guys? I don't have this many friends. Spider-Man, I checked records and that site's been getting deliveries from cartel front. Oh, he's already down. Whoops. They're moving drugs, huh? Not for long. Sit down. Web them all up. Like that. Suck it. Suck it. Oh, great. More of them. Guys, this isn't here. You could have just bailed. Bye. <laughs> Eight shit. Eight shit. Bye. Gotcha. Wasn't even aiming for you, but I got you good. Disarm this guy. It's our last guy. What's the most creative way I can get rid of this guy with what I have? There we go. See ya! A little bit of a weird physics thing going on there, but... Yuri, I got a bunch of incapacitated criminals and designer narcotics all wrapped up and waiting for you. Great, I'll just consider this an anonymous tip. So yeah, Spider-Man on the PS4 is absolutely fantastic. It does everything about being a Spider-Man game right. Tons of things for you to do related from everything from beating the crap out of dudes to getting a little bit of your nerd on with Peter Parker. 
the story so far is fantastic. The fact that they're trying to build their own little world and they've got tons of references to different enemies from the comics and, well, I would say the movies, but to be fair, it was all taken from the comics anyway, so it's not like it matters. And just the... Just the overall presentation polish and feel of the game is absolutely wonderful. And... Huh. Bomb mission? Thank God. Demons have rigged explosives all over the building, but we can't get close. Point me at him, officer. I'm here to help. We've located the primary device. If you can disable it, it'll cough up an army key. You can use that to locate and disable the secondary device. Got it. Keep your men back. I'll radio when it's clear. Complete crime within three minutes and knocks three enemies off the building? Cool. Oh, eat shit, son. Get over here. Get over here. Get over here. Knock you in the air. Bye. Right, now you. Can you do that? Come here. Come here. I'm here, damn it. Okay, screw it, you die. Okay, safe to disarm the primary device. Oh, he actually fell off. Nice. Don't think about the block of C4 this is wired to. Okay, cool. So I can actually, um... I'll actually do this puzzle, because this does actually come up from time to time, but at the same time, yeah. Uh... No, that's the that's the wrong piece. Uh, let's no, let's not remove all the pieces. Let's remove this. Uh, remove. Uh, is it this one? Mm, nope, it's the one below it. Cool. That one. Yeah, we'll put this one here. Okay, so the active voltage is uh, minus one. So we need to add as much voltage as possible to that. Okay. Uh, remove this one. Have this one be there instead. So now we have four, and then we just um, send the power home. There, got the key. There we go. Very simple puzzle, one but again, you saw um, R1 to skip at the bottom the there. Got to hurry to disarm them. Disable that. Where's this one? Inside, got it, right. I can swim by the way, but let's just avoid going in the water as much as possible if we can. Get on the wall. There we go. Works for me. Spider-Man. We'll take it from here. You got it, officer. Always ready to do my part. So yeah, there you go. This game is fantastic. I'd recommend it to anybody. It it is the best Spider-Man game. I haven't played very many of them, but I know most of them suck, but I've played most of the good ones, which is uh, the, the two PS1 ones and then Spider-Man 2 on the PS2, and this one is better than all of them. All units mass hostile. Hey, we're running another piece on Jefferson Davis. So yeah, there you go. This has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.